So I had a couple of people asking about the YouTube analytics thing. So this is the, it's normally default showing in the last 28 days. Uh, so I had like three, almost 3,000 views. It actually tells me it's 2,000 more than usual. A uh, watch, watch time, which is like the most important number of subscribers. Yeah, going up. Well, it's jumping up and down. Uh, here you can see live count. Ah, that's uh, of the subscribers. And in here you can see the live last uh, 48 hours. So uh, the general stats are updated only every 48 hours, but you can see live stuff as well. So for example, this video is trending. I don't know why it's doing way better than uh, typical. Typically, it's that gray area there. This one is shooting up, but uh, normally, I don't know if it's the algorithm pushing it or is it uh, organic. So there were 4.2 watch hours to subscribers out of that video. But yeah, it seems to be saturating, plateauing. So the algorithm kind of forgets about it. Uh, I used to post a lot on LinkedIn and stuff, but uh, yes, say for this video externally, it was only found by 1.7%. So now kind of doing more selective posting on uh, LinkedIn because this essentially suggests that this specific video was mainly found through the YouTube uh, YouTube page. So it's uh, YouTube uh, either recommending it or uh, doing something with it. Ah, yeah, average percentage view is not great at all. It's actually pretty bad. <laughs> it's shockingly bad. So YouTube, yeah, so probably YouTube will stop um, recommending it because of this. Must be this very low uh, uh, percentage view. So I don't know if people are clicking on it, not expecting it's a longer video or, or the label is not correct. Yeah, normally after a while, it's uh, generating uh, subtitles. So it's transcribing uh, text to speech. So if I pop this... Uh, Pop it into a uh, GPT. Uh, this my video. Uh, what's it called? Captions. Uh, summarize and suggest titles. So I remember, really remember what is it about. It's got changes. A uh, summary. The main issue being addressed is a problem with a web application related to IG spectrum visualization. The application isn't displaying anything, even though there are no errors being reported. There seems to be an issue with NAN, not a number, values being produced during the filtering process of the data. One primary issue identified is an unstable filter due to a large filter order. Reducing the filter order to a lower value such as 4 resolved this issue. Another problem encountered is that the raw signal chart isn't displaying as expected. The user suspects it might be related to the structure of the data storage. The assistant provided some solutions and suggestions using GPT-4, but there were some challenges with context and the overall structure of the data. The user is contemplating starting a new chat to provide a clearer context. Yeah, right. No, I, rem I, rem I actually remember doing this, so uh, yeah, GPT-4 is pretty, it's pretty accurate. If it's complete or a summary actually can be up to five. It is summary in BX. And it up to uh, what was it five thousand characters? Yeah, that's meant to be G there, troubleshooting EG. Yeah, this is probably a better title. Yeah, I was probably too ambitious with the title. Due to perfecting a web application for IG spectrum visualization, several hurdles emerged that required immediate attention. From the outset, the application refused to display anything. The perplexing part was that despite the absence of visualization, no errors were being reported. The core of the issue seemed to revolve around NAN, not a number, values. Upon diving deeper, it was revealed that these NAN values were being produced during the data filtering process. This raised questions about the filtering method being utilized, and what might be causing these aberrant values. One critical discovery was the instability of the filter, which was attributed to an excessively large filter order. While filters are essential in refining and processing data, their stability is paramount to ensure accurate results. The instability not only skewed the data, but also presented challenges in achieving a clear visualization on the web application. A practical solution was proposed, 
by simply reducing the filter order to a more reasonable number, in this case, 4, the filter's stability was restored. However, even after stabilizing the filter, another challenge cropped up. The raw signal chart, a fundamental component of the application, was not displaying as intended. Given the intricacies of data structures and their direct impact on data visualization, the user suspected that the root of this problem might be tied to how 